Hi, Tyron. Good to see hey. you. Pleasure. Can you talk a little bit about Josh Allen? Have you seen him progress? I mean, you guys saw him earlier this season, but now that they're playing on this streak, what tendencies, what do you see from this quarterback? Uh, I think he's, you know, coming into his own. You know, he's definitely growing into his own, um, you know, more comfortable, more confidence. You know, I was able to play against him um, 2018 uh, when I was in Houston. He was, a, I mean, obviously he was a younger quarterback. Um, but to just see his progression, you know, from then to now, uh, he's clearly, you know, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Um, can throw the ball a mile, you know, can use his legs. You know, he's real physical, you know, when he's running the ball. Um, so he turns into a running back. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll have a full this week, you know, if you talk about Josh Allen. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Aaron, you were caught on NFL Films talking about Ed Reed when you made that interception on the on the sideline. I, I just in, in that context, what has goal visualization meant to you and, and what does it mean in, even at the team level moving forward as you guys push towards the second uh, Super Bowl? It's everything. You know, I think, you know, you visualizing, um, you know, obviously, you know, certain plays that you can make, um, certain moments. Uh, you just try to, you know, put yourself in those situations. Um you know, I think for me, just being from Louisiana, you know, I was able to really, you know, watch Ed Reed, you know, up close and personal. And, you know, he meant a lot to his football team. Um, so for me, it's all about continuing to, to motivate myself, um, continuing to chase greatness. And, um, you know, I think any time you bring up Ed Reed's name, you know, he's usually in a company of his own. So, um, you know, uh, he, he tends to get my heights, you know, set really high. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Tyron, uh, you faced him once this year, but uh, when you look at the film and you think about your, your previous matchup against him, uh, why has Stephon Diggs been so successful this year? Well, he's a great receiver. You know, he can do it all. You know, they line him up at number one, you know, number two, number three. Um, they, they, they find mismatches for him. Um, but even when they can't find a mismatch, you know, he's lining up on number one cornerbacks and, you know, he's going to work. So, uh, you know, he's, he's one of those guys that, that we got to know where he is in the formation. And then, too, we got to understand, you know, when the game's on the line and, you know, you in these certain situations, you got to know where the ball's going. So, uh, you know, I think he's probably the, the most targeted receiver, you know, in the NFL. So uh, whoever's in front of him, you know, got 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 tough duty. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Tyron, as a quick follow-up to Karen's first question, when you were mentioning Josh Allen and what stands out to you about him. But when you, it's been a while since you have played the Bills, week six, but what's the biggest difference that you see in the preparing, preparing for them this week that you didn't see – back in week six? Well, you know, I think really every game is different. Um, I think every team, you know, goes into, you know, you know certain games and they want to accomplish certain things. Um, you know, I think this time around, you know, you're going to see a quarterback that's, you know, really understand, you know, where the ball is supposed to go. Um, you know, I think the last time we played him, it probably wasn't his best outing as a quarterback. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's going to come in here this Sunday, try to get into a rhythm, you know, fairly quickly. Um, I can see them you know, using his legs early on to kind of get him in a groove because he's one of those quarterbacks. Once he gets in a groove, once he gets his confidence up, you know, he's tough to stop. So, um, you know, I think it'll be really important for us to come out of the gates, you know, playing really, really hard, really fast, uh, and everybody communicating. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Tyron, you've been uh, one of the better players in terms of run support, just as much as you are trying to manipulate the quarterback from the robber position. I just wonder when you go through pre-snap reads, um, how different, how similar is it when you know you should, you know, have a responsibility and run support versus the interception with Mayfield where you moved a couple different spots before the ball, understanding that it was probably going to be a pass. Yeah, I think, you know, pre-snap just, you know, I think it, you know, allows you to, you know, understand where you're supposed to be if you get a certain play. Um, and I think for me, I just try to take that pre-snap you know, judgment, try to make that judgment pre-snap and, you know, put my body in a position where I can make the play or, you know, one of my teammates can make the play. I, I think that's really the kind of the thought process. And we'll go last to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron. Um, I think it's hey. five interceptions in the last six games, if I'm not mistaken. How much of that can you point to your film study? Can you say you wouldn't have had any of those without your your – during the week preparation and Brad, I'll have one quick follow up. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of it is, you know, really, you know, based off that, um, you know, I don't think a lot of quarterbacks just, you know, really throw the ball at me. I think it's more, you know, scheme and schematic and trying to find a way to get the receiver open. But, um, you know, once you're able to kind of diagnose the route concepts and the patterns, you know, I just try to, you know, put myself in position, 
um, you know, to make a play. And, and this interception streak, if you will, sort of coincides from you sort of playing more um, more safety and less uh, slot coverage. Um, is, can that explain this as well? Do you feel like you're more, more often in position to, to make a play on the ball um, from a safety position? I think, I think any, any position on the field really allows you, you know, the chance to kind of make those plays. You know, I think for me, it's just all about staying committed. You know, you know I think early on in the season, I, I wasn't necessarily making those plays. And, you know, I think, you know, as a high competitor, you can kind of get out of it and, and thinking that none of those plays are ever going to come to you. But, you know, for me, I think the challenge is just staying involved, trying my best to stay involved um, and, and stay committed to what my coaches is doing. And, you know, uh, I, I guess some good things have, have, have been happening for me lately. Tyron, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.